walking around the neighborhood with the dogs today and it is beautiful out here. Not many people around. A beautiful neighborhood. South Carthay Historic Preservation Zone. You gotta come down here and take a look. You never know if you find something you really like. And if you do, I can talk to you about it. You walk up this street, you see some fantastic homes preserved as they were originally built. Some changes. Generally though, the neighborhood looks like it did, but only enhanced. It's beautiful. You can see how empty the streets are. This is uh, like rush hour on, on Olympic and Crescent Heights. And there is nobody around. Which is kind of nice actually to just walk around in the sunlight. Now we're walking by Carthay Elementary School, which is a terrific school. Going into the uh, north of Olympic area of Carthay. So it wouldn't be Carthay South, might be called Carthay Circle. And there's a bunch of really nice houses here, great family uh, environment, and close to the school. Here's a virtual showing of, uh, what I would call a virtual showing of Carthay in the neighborhood, Commodore Sloat. Beautiful, beautiful area, and it's a beautiful day. This is a beautiful Spanish house. It's done really nice, been kept up well. Next door to it is a smaller Spanish, but a nice house as well. I pass right now. This is, like I said, Santa Inez. It cuts between houses and ends up out on the street adjacent to Los Los Angeles Park. So it's a really terrific feature and it's taken care of really nicely as you can see a pleasant walk. You can see we're coming out of San Ibnez now into the little triangle here which will take us across to La Cienica Park. So it's a nice walk and the dogs enjoy it of course. There's April out ahead of everybody and uh, it's a terrific place to live. So here we are now at the Beverly Hills city limit. But you can see that Carthay is really, really close to Beverly Hills and the prices are much better for people. Uh, if you don't want the school system, and a lot of people go to private school anyway, but the school system in Carthay is good. But if you are so close to Beverly Hills, one side of the street, Beverly Hills, the other side, Los Angeles. Absolutely amazing and the prices reflect that. Back in the park, we walked along uh, the street here, which is called Hayes. This is a beautiful house that was redone a few years ago. And if we look around here, we see a great looking neighborhood. And up above, you'll have what's, what used to be where Carthay Circle Theater was, and now there's a, a big office building there. But this is a beautiful place, with beautiful homes, at uh, really decent prices. A lot of homes like the one behind me, which is, it almost looks like a, uh, quite a bungalow house, but it's a Hampton type house. That house houses two families. And there are a lot of homes around here that are the same. They um, they rent out both sides of the home. House across the street is a beautiful example of gentrification that's going on in this area. They are redoing the inside. The outside looks pretty much like it always has, but there's a lot of this going on around this neighborhood. Take a look. And you'll see larger buildings on Wilshire behind because that's exactly where we are. And like I've said before, a few minutes away from Beverly Hills. We're now walking south on Crescent Heights, coming close to a lot of duplexes and triplexes, but mostly duplexes. Beautiful, some of the most beautiful duplexes in this area are on this street. And you can see some of them as we go by. And this will take us back into a neighborhood area that has less duplexes and more homes. I'm standing out in front of a duplex that's on the corner of Whitward and Crescent Heights on the west side of the street. And it is a beautiful example of what a duplex can be in this area. It's, it's owned by a guy named Perry, who I know, and I'm going to just swing around and show it to you. It's 
So that's the end of our little tour around the neighborhood of Carthay. And you've got to love, there are the dogs in the background, but you've got to love the neighborhood and all the wonderful homes and areas around here. And if you have any questions, of course, you can always contact me. Uh, and this is what we're doing now on a, uh, a uh, coronavirus day, basically. <laughs> but uh, nice to get out. It's a beautiful day.